Project GAINS was formulated to essentially increase muscle protein synthesis, activate mTOR, and increase muscle mass. Welcome inside fitnessinformant.com, Fitness Informant's YouTube channel. I'm FI founder and CEO, Ryan Buckeye, here with an explainer video from the brand Anabot Warfare as part of their Project Muscle series. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Project Gains. This is one product in the series of products called Project Muscle, like I just mentioned, that is designed and formulated to help you with muscle gains and lean body mass. So no, we have not tried this product. We can't give you the validity of the actual uh, does this actually work? But what we can talk about is the science behind the ingredient fat panel or supplement facts panel, which is what we're going to do here, as well as provide you with a link to go to fitnessinformer.com to learn more about the ingredients. And about what for design project muscle for you, the users, to determine what is your goal. Do you want to lose weight and body fat? Do you want to gain muscle mass? And then within those goals, which products do you want to use? Is it water retention? Is it strength gains? Is it exercise performance? Allowing you to control basically your destiny. Project GAINS was formulated to essentially increase muscle protein synthesis, activate mTOR, and increase muscle mass. Now, this doesn't happen alone by just taking Project GAINS. It has to be in conjunction with a healthy diet and a adequate workout program. But let's dive into the SFP on this to give you a little bit more information. So Project GAINS really is going to be uh, a four ingredient formula with two of those ingredients sort of being the hero ingredients. The first ingredient here used at a gram is deasperic acid. So deasperic acid, one of the most common ingredients used in over-the-counter testosterone boosters. There's some research that suggests that it could boost natural testosterone levels in males. It could also uh, there, you know, do many different things in terms of increasing athletic performance. Um, and we still see quite a bit of products today releasing using DAA or deasperic acid, including Project Gains. The next ingredient is actually an ingredient that I'm a fan of. It's called Mediator PA. This is phosphatic acid used at 600 milligrams, which is going to yield 300 milligrams of, of phosphatic acid. The study out there had users take either 250 milligrams, 375 milligrams, or a placebo of mediator, mediator PA. So the placebo group, obviously not taking mediator, 250, 375. This one dosed at 600 milligrams being 50% PA gives users 300 milligrams of phosphatic acid. The study showed that in both groups that actually supplemented with PA, their lower body strength went up, their lean body mass went up, and their overall body mass went up. So there's some validity to this ingredient, and that's why it's being used in a lot of higher end products out there that are priced higher, this one being one of those. So we get 600 milligrams standardized to 50% phosphatic acid. It's gonna help activate mTOR, increase muscle mass, increase strength. And overall, it's a really solid, natural, over-the-counter muscle builder that we're a fan of. The next ingredient used at 200 milligrams, yielding 10% tergesterone, so 20 milligrams of tergesterone uh, in this product. So tergesterone is kind of like that new shiny car. Everyone wants to use it, everyone's flocking to it. It's part of the ectosteroid family. It's very close to ectosterone, which if you look at some research behind that ingredient, it shows that there's been some anabolic properties to it that it can increase muscle mass, strength. I'm I, The jury's still out with me. I'm not entirely sure, but more and more brands are using tergesterone in their muscle building products, so it's only natural to see it here. Next ingredient is pine bark extract at 150 milligrams. This just helps increase blood flow, uh, improve nitric oxide, increase blood flow to the muscle areas in which you're trying to help recover, repair, and rebuild. So a solid ingredient there. And then the last ingredient at five milligrams is bioperin to help with ingredient absorption. This is probably my favorite muscle building supplement as part of their Project Muscle series because of the use of Mediator PA. Deasperic acid is good, tercosterone is TBD, but I love Mediator PA a lot. I like the dosage here. I've seen this dose anywhere from 500 up to 800 milligrams, obviously with the 50% yield. Still falls within that range per the study that we alluded to as the study is linked over at Fitness Informant as well. So if you want to purchase this product, look below for a link to take you over to Anabolic Warfare's website as well as potentially a coupon kill to save you a few dollars. For a more in-depth deep dive into the ingredients used in Project Gains, there's a link below for that as well. Follow our social media channels. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, Twitter, and more. Subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the red subscribe now button below to stay up to date with all new things here at FI. 
Check out our podcast. It's called Booty and the Beast. It's here on YouTube, over at Spotify, as well as iTunes. And for more supplement reviews, rankings, news, deals, workout plans, and nutrition plans, visit us on our official website or online at fitnessinformant.com.